Good morning, Megalopolisville. Today is a regular day in our city because once again our routine is hit by yet another fantastic event that will change the existence as a whole forever and ever again. This morning, an incredible discovery during evacuations at the border of the city defies our knowledge about the evolution of the whole human species. Did we really come from the monkey? Or is it possible that we evolved from something more frighteningly different? That's what the museum experts are trying to unravel now that the true missing link was actually found. Is everything okay, Jesse? Yes, I think so, I don't know. There's something weird about this missing link. It certainly does. Around 10,000 years ago, some animal had sex with someone who wasn't supposed to, and that skull ended up coming out of one of those two, which obviously was not cool for either of them. Look at its shape. It's like a watermelon made out of a Lego coming out of you. No, not that. It looks like, like... I just want you to know that I did not plan this. I was just sitting here waiting. This is real strange to me, too. Ah! Steven? What are you doing here? That's what I've been trying to figure out in the last half an hour. I've been here, but they definitely don't understand anything what I'm saying. What? It's time to spank that evil. Majestic! We came to ask for your help. Our planet is in great danger. We need the help of the greatest heroes on Earth to save our race from a terrible dictator. I don't get it. I know! I told them! How many times am I going to have to explain that I'm not one of the greatest heroes on Earth? I'm not even a hero! I'm not even one of the most presentable human beings on Earth. Even I know that. Maybe it's a mistake. Unfortunately, no. The computer took us to you, and we need to complete our mission by taking you to our planet through that dark hole. Guys, uh, I have a meeting in like 20 minutes. I think you're not getting it. This whole thing about going to another planet is just not happening. Really, it's not. Well, whether you like it or not, you're part of the impressives. No, I'm not. I'm just an idiot renting a room in Stuart's apartment. You cannot say man-man's identity like that. Of course I can, because that's what idiots do. It's not a good idea to get an idiot and take him to another planet thinking that that idiot's going to save them. Yeah, he has a point, guys. Ah, uh, it's my boss. What am I going to tell him? I already used the alien abduction excuse at the beginning of this year. Isn't it better for us to try and find someone more... Prepared? More prepared? We have a mouse that's kind of our mascot in the Society of Virtue. This seems pretty offensive. Uh, my vote's for the mouse. It's not a vote! We are following the instructions of our sacred operating system programming that tells us what to do. Sacred? I don't understand. Who said that this computer is sacred? Our holy prophets who have programmed it in the past. Right, but how do you know that these prophets were really holy prophets? Because our sacred computer said they were. So, you know that the prophets were holy prophets because the computer was made sacred by them, and then they programmed themselves and said that they are prophets. Yes, and to fulfill the sacred prophecy by the sacred prophets according to the computer they created to inform us that they were the holy prophets, we need to cross the sacred dark hole before the rebels and unbelievers use their dirty guerrilla tactics and terrorists to stop us. Sorry, rebels? Yes, the rebels who somehow managed to escape for us whenever we are close to fulfilling the prophecy. Wait, they what? For God's sake, Stephen, can't you put the phone on silent? Uh, it's not mine. My phone is not the size of a full-length printer with a countdown timer. <gasps> what is the definition of a scapped for exactly? Oh my gosh! Is this the end of Majestic and Steven? Does the Lost Link have anything to do with this adventure? Will we finally discover what escapter means? Find out next episode! What? Where are we? I don't know. I've never seen this planet before. That's not good. Where's Steven? Look, footprints. If we use the Clibberboculator, we can simulate what happened holographically using these traces. Hmm. 
Looks like two big creatures found the wreckage. Is Stephen on his knees? Looks like he's begging now. And crying. This hologram of yours is very precise. Oh no, he grabbed onto a tree so they wouldn't take him. Are the creatures laughing? How does your machine know that? I think it's just guessing. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it really is quite funny. Look, <laughs> his ass is hanging out now. <laughs> they caught him and are dragging him through the jungle. He's playing dead now. Yep, that's like Steven. Well, all we need to do now is retrace his steps until we get to where he is. What I don't get is why they didn't take us. Why Steven? That's it. No way he'll believe me this time. I'm totally getting fired. And this isn't even the craziest story I've told him. Who is he? Your king? Yeah. Basically, yeah. I know what you mean. Our king isn't exactly a nice guy either. I bet he doesn't make you work overtime. Overtime? As in fight to the death and probably be impaled? Worse. Wait, how do you... how do you speak my language? As far as I know, you're the one who speaks mine. Or at least something very similar. But that's impossible. The only way that's true is if... We are not on another planet. This has to be Earth. That makes no sense at all. It does. This plant here is five million years old and is one of the few prehistoric species we know about. Look, guards, we can take their clothes and try to blend in. That black hole we went through didn't take us to a different place, but a different time. We are in the past. So you're saying the computer took us to the past to find you? Obviously not. That's the only explanation! No, actually, any other explanation makes more sense than you being a super telepathic genius. My brain is so big that my brain waves let me see the future. No, I told you that's not what telepathy is. Okay, I give up. This is not how I imagined my horrible and gruesome death to be. What are you talking about? <sighs> I'll explain for the last time, super genius. We're going to have to get into this arena and fight, and possibly to the death. In fact, I hope we die, because living is much worse. You can bet that. That doesn't make any sense. How is the program for the fight in English? The English language only appeared... Well, in a time long after this one. Is that what you're worried about? I don't know if you've read here what's going to happen to Stephen, and the worst is that it really doesn't make any sense. Well, this is it. I never thought I would die in an alien gladiator arena wearing a... I can't believe this. This outfit actually did go through my mind before, but not the rest. Okay. Here we go! It's not your time yet, Stephen! Majestic! I made a bet with half of the Society of Virtue that you were going to die in a Tarzan outfit. And I put a lot of money into it. Wait, you made a bet on my death? Oh no. This creature is too strong for me. It looks like, like, we humans are too weak compared to this race. It can't be. Majestic lost? All right, that's enough. You know, this is not the first time I've been trapped in a weird place. It's not the first time that a big crowd has chanted for my death. And it's not the first time that I've been dressed like Gerard Butler from 300 after blacking out. But it's sure not gonna be now that I let my friend get hurt. Steven, wait! Hmm, that was a little too easy. I can't believe this. Did I, did I win? No, you lost. Didn't anybody explain the rules to you? Congratulations to our big winner, our champion, who will be honored to be the Crumbabula Dula Dila Foo this year. Yeah, when the only thing he says in a different language is what's gonna happen to me, it can't be that good. 
We were once a very advanced civilization. Our technology not only made our lives more comfortable, but also prevented pests, diseases, accidents, and virtually eradicated the death of our society. But it also made us weaker and more dependent on the same technology with each generation. Until one day, a new disease arose. No one expected this to happen, but it seems that death always finds a way. And what was once prosperity and peace had become an apocalyptic world of destruction and despair. With virtually the entire planet dying, we learned that survival comes from strength. And just as we use science and technology to unintentionally weaken our species, we use that same science to create stronger beings from our stronger beings. Our champions have become our birch trees and are saving our species. Okay, uh, you know, I don't think so. No, oh, uh, thank you so much, but I'm probably gonna have to pass on this. I think it's a little too late for that, Steven. Like two months too late. It seemed like a good idea t t two months ago. Well, I didn't know I was gonna be fertilized. What did you think was gonna happen? Uh, I had no idea! You know, you know I, I don't actually understand what most people talk about most of the time. Uh, you know, I usually just try to m make a face or, or, or smile so, so, that, so that they feel more comfortable. I think my life's just, just a big multiple choice test. So you chose the wrong time to smile. There's something very wrong going on here, Majestic. Steven, somehow, in a way that I don't understand, you're the missing link. The entire human race has evolved from you. Actually, from this baby that will come out of you. Well, are you insane? You're saying that by some incredible coincidence, you went to our present time and just managed to find me in the middle of seven, like, billion people? No, I don't think it was a coincidence. You're obviously part of the prophecy. They went after you, Steven. You are the chosen. One. Our computer, for some unknown reason, knew of your existence, and only you can save our entire civilization. It's coming! No! No freaking way, guys! Look, have you ever thought about where this thing is gonna come out? I have a condition! I have to drink a quart of prune juice three times a day! Look, my ass looks like a bundle of, of grapes because of my hemorrhoid! For Pete's sake, tell me you guys have already discovered how to do C-sections here! Majestic! Steven, I know you guys are in there. What is happening? It's the rebels. They want the prophet inside you. Okay, well, let him take it. Just tell him to pull it out gently. The future of our race and yours is in your ass, Steven. I can't believe this. I was supposed to be in a business meeting two months ago. I'm really late, guys. What are you doing? What I came here to do, saving the world. They can't leave here alive. Wait, they? You also want to kill the- Yes, Majestic. That's what the prophecy says. If Steven lives, he can have other children. Dozens, hundreds. Look, I promise you I won't. I I'll put it in a contract. You can trust me. And that's why I went looking for you, to create a new prophecy. The prophecy where I save our race from the filthy mix you created by crossing our genes with the junk that is your genes. The king thinks we're weak. No, humans are weak. This filthy baby is not the missing link. It is simply the beginning of our destruction. He is the very down fall of our world. But why did you come back for us? The idea was to kill Steven, but with the explosion, the ship was thrown into the past. What probably happened is that with the energy released in the explosion, the gravitational field of- Hey, alien! You were right, alien. Humans are not the best thing on this planet. In fact, we must be the worst. And this one? Well, he just came out of my ass. So you can imagine how bad that one is. And we can do terrible, senseless things, because we, you know, we can be horrible and, and, and really bad, but you know we also created Bruce Willis, Predator, Rambo, and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you want to make all that go away, well, neither me nor my son will allow it. <laughs> Prophesize this. <laughs> so you mean your baby is the skull I have in my lab? 
So the prophecy on the computer that made them go after me in the future was actually created in the past. But how could the computer have created this prophecy about me if I only showed up after the prophecy was made? <laughs> yeah, looks like this is going to be a story for another adventure. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That makes no sense at all. So you suddenly decided to get smart? This is a temporal paradox, Stephen. For the love of God, it's supposed to be like this. Well, I think that's it, Majestic and Stephen. I don't know how to thank you for what you did for my people after all I had to do to you. No worries, Mr. King guy. I know you'll be a better father to my alien son than I would ever be. You are very brave, Stephen. I don't know if I would have the strength to leave a child behind in the past to start the whole human race. You know, it really is hard for me to abandon my son who bit off another man's arm within 30 seconds of being born. <laughs> All I wanted was to take him home. <laughs> you know, but I'm sure you'll take good care of him. Well, I think it's time for us to go. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess I really missed my meeting. Well, now you have the excuse of going back in the past to give birth to the missing link. Do you realize that what happened here debunks everything we used to think about evolution, Darwin, religion, everything? Whoa, whoa, wait, no. You're gonna tell everybody I got pregnant? Yes, but if we tell your story to the world, it can revolutionize the entire planet, Stephen. It could mean world peace between nations and religions. It could be a new era for humanity. Uh, yeah, let's stick to the monkey story, where nothing comes out of my ass, okay? <laughs> That's the kind of information I prefer to not be in every history book on the planet forever. Wait. What happened to your clothes? I kind of like it. Maybe this will be my new uniform. My fans would approve.